a message from Jehovah Nissi regarding the three days of darkness. This is the official beginning of the plague of darkness. Words received from Messenger Gwendolyn Ricks on April 4th, 2015. My dearest children, the message that I am delivering unto my daughter Gwendolyn this day is a very important message, and out of my great love for each of you, and out of my thankfulness to my daughter who has served me as a messenger for the past couple years, I am going to do something new. I am going to give very detailed instructions for those of my children who consider themselves true sons and daughters of the Most High God. I am going to enlighten you as to how to prepare for the upcoming three days of darkness. Never will there be a time upon your earth where the enemy will be more happy than during these three days of darkness. For the enemy believes that upon this day it is the official kickoff for his end time shenanigans upon the earth. He will very carefully and like a cold-blooded killer plan one attack after another against my holy children. He is biting at the chomp to see the children of God begin to worry about their own survival and their natural instincts of hoarding and threatening each other for their mere existence. As a matter of fact, children, the enemy is counting on it as he has been watching the buying patterns of my children through their credit card purchases and through the involvement through various websites on the internet. He believes that everything the children of God have done to prepare for the end times days has been a waste of time as he plans to confiscate your supplies and dig up your bomb shelters. He has gleaned so much information from the internet on the purchasing of guns and ammunition and plans to use it against you in the near future. The problem with this, my children, is that I will destroy his databases. I will destroy every bit of evidence that he has stockpiled against my children and cause his plans to explode right in his face. It is I, the Lord God Almighty, who can see what he is up to at all times. My children, the upcoming three days of darkness are very soon. They will coincide with the historic mega quake of California, which will also coincide with the signing of the peace accord to divide my holy land. I will have to show the earth who is truly in charge and who has the last say on all matters. I am the one true God, and I am the one who will have the last say on anything. Once the peace accord is signed, there will be a brief reprieve of quiet. It will then be followed with a massive shaking all across the earth. Once the shaking occurs, I want all of my children to make plans to gather in their homes. I want them to be careful to think of the special needs of each and every person that is gathering with them also. For example, if someone is on heart medication, please bring the heart medication with them to the gathering spot. If the person is on oxygen, have them bring a portable tank. There may not be electricity in many parts of the world during this period of darkness. If one of my saints is on oxygen, for example, I will supernaturally help them to breathe more easily during this time. I still am asking each family member to bring the supplies that they will need for those who are having health issues. I am God and I know what my children's individual needs are too. The second thing that I want to share with my children is the need for food and water. Please try and obtain enough water for at least three days for this ev event. I have also asked my other children to gather six weeks of water, but this is for long-term water storage, not for the three days of darkness. Please also have your Bibles, flashlights, 
candles and some snacks to help younger children feel more at home. I have even told many of my children to get large bags of popcorn. There may also be some areas where there will not be adequate plumbing. I want to encourage my children to be sure to have enough toiletries to keep themselves clean. Additional moist towelettes and even some toilet paper will come in handy. Be sure to have deodorant and fresh clothing to wear. Children, be sure to plan ahead for this time and you will not be as greatly affected. The next portion of this message pertains to the spiritual implications of the three days of darkness. During this time period, me and my son will visit each and every home upon this planet. We will make ourselves known and give each and every person upon this planet the opportunity to surrender themselves to us. The Holy Spirit's presence will also be intensified as the glory of the Lord will be present. The glory upon the earth will be very powerful and many hearts doors will open and receive eternal salvation. The enemy is very concerned about this time period and at the same time he is also looking forward to it because he knows his time is almost up. After the three days of darkness, be prepared for violence and devastation upon the earth to intensify. There will be more natural disasters and more terrorist attacks in more diverse places. There will be two natural, supernatural events coinciding, children. The intensification of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, as well as the ramping up of violence. Please begin praying that the children of God will realize the nearness of my son's second coming and fully surrender to him. Please also pray for world peace as there will be much chaos upon the earth. I have many end time servants upon the face of the earth that will also experience supernatural encounters during this period of darkness. There will be some of my servants transforming into end time servants and others will be acquiring higher giftings of the spirit. Those who have a calling to preach but have never stepped foot inside a church will begin receiving the anointing to preach. Those who are called to be healers who have never raised someone from the dead will receive the anointing to be a healer. There will be a handful of my servants who will be given every ministry gift because of their faithfulness unto me. I am the giver of the greatest gifts, children. Remember that I am rewarding my servants for their loyalty to me. I am a most happy Heavenly Father to do this for my children, to assist with the greatest harvest of all time. Love, Jehovah Nisi. I am the banner of love across this earth.